Imagine that you are implementing a social network application in which users have profiles. A profile can contain various information – name, email address, profile picture, friends list, and recent posts. A separate service is responsible for the posts, another for friends, and another for storing the user's name and email information. Thus, to display a profile, the client must make a call to obtain the email, name and image data, then request the list of friends and the posts. Later, you must add more services based on user interests, recently visited places, etc. This approach makes it more challenging to find the data, because for each type of data in the profile, the client must know where to get it from. It would be much more convenient if all the necessary data for displaying a profile were received simultaneously. This is where the facade design pattern comes into play. The facade is a structural design pattern that provides a unified interface to a set of interfaces in a subsystem. It simplifies complex systems by offering a high-level interface that shields client from the complexities and interactions of individual components within a subsystem. The facade pattern is especially useful when working with complex systems or third-party libraries, where a simplified interface can improve usability and hide implementation details. Let's define the user profile provider interface that the client will use and which contains a method getUserProfile. Then, let's create a user profile provider impl class that implements the interface. Its method returns all the information about the user's profile. It hides the complexity of obtaining information from various services, such as friends provider, host provider, and so on. When new data needs to be added to the profile, the interface method and its use should not change. There are three actors in this design pattern. Facade provides a simplified interface to a subsystem. The Facade impl implements Facade and manages the interaction with subsystem classes and hides their complexity. Subsystem classes are separate classes that make up a complex system. Clients can interact with these classes directly, but it's more convenient to use a Facade. On the positive side, it greatly simplifies usage by offering a single entry point to a complex subsystem, making it easier for clients to interact with the system. This is beneficial as it reduces the effort required from the user's end. Additionally, it encourages separation between clients and subsystem classes, resulting in loose coupling and simplifying the maintenance process. Furthermore, a design pattern provides a well-organized and clean method to encapsulate subsystem functionalities, offering clients a cleaner and more user-friendly API. One of the main disadvantages is that it can reduce flexibility, as implementing a facade might make it challenging to modify or expand individual subsystem components without impacting the facade itself. This is a significant consideration, as it could lead to complications in the long run. Another downside is the potential for a bloated interface. As the subsystem evolves and grows, the facade interface might become overloaded with methods to meet different clients' diverse needs. This can make the system cumbersome and less efficient. That's all about the facade design pattern. See you in the next video.